So I'm your little update. It's all about Elle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Hey guys, and welcome to Everything Elle. This is her three month update. She's a tired girl. She just got done eating, so she's kind of happy. So we're going to do her three month update. She's getting so big. She honestly, looks like a three month old to me. Like she no longer looks like a tiny little newborn. She's very like active, wide awake, very sturdy. <laughs> you see your daddy back there? We actually just celebrated her very first Christmas and I'm gonna show you guys everything that she got for Christmas. But first I'm gonna do a little bit of an update. So she is still in three to six month clothing. She's getting so big though. She's definitely filled out. Like I can see it in all of her like her cheeks and her little thighs. Do you see daddy up there? As you can see, she like tracks people really good now too. Oh, is that your little toy that you got for Christmas? She is 12 and a half pounds, so gaining weight, getting big. She's eating really good. She still nurses great. Um, she eats pretty like consistently too. Like I feel like with the boys, it was like, I think they're hungry. I think I should feed them. And she's like almost to the dot, like every two to three hours, she'll start to get fussy and I know she's hungry. But let's talk about her sleep because <laughs> that has gotten a little bit more intense this month. The first month I was like, oh, this kid, she all she does is sleep. And the second month I was like, okay, she's starting to wake up. She'll be awake for like an hour, hour and a half and then go back down for a nap. Lately, especially this last week or so, I swear I'm like, does she sleep? <laughs> and I don't want to complain because I know some moms really do deal with babies who don't sleep. She does sleep, but it is hard. Like I'm really trying to get her down for like naps and I'm starting to feel like maybe she's just not quite there yet and she still needs contact naps with mommy and daddy. It's hard for me to get her down to bed at night, but when she is asleep, she'll sleep like four or five hour stretches, sometimes six on a good night. But like even last night, I didn't get her to bed until like 10.30, which is really late. <laughs> Especially when, you, when you've already been holding her all day long. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're still awake? Huh, you just like to be awake. You like to just see what's going on with everyone. I love this little fur <laughs> vest on her, it's so cute. I actually did like a newborn sleep class just to kind of help me be a little bit more educated in like proper sleep and how to create really cool sleep habits. That way, cause I just, I know how hard it gets. <laughs> the toddler years are really hard, especially if you don't have an established, you know, good routine. It's hard right now, I'm still struggling. I actually am so excited because two days ago, I finally picked up the Snoo bassinet and oh my gosh, I did not know how amazing it was. Now, I knew about this new bassinet, and I'll tell you about it in just a minute, before she was born, but it was like, to me, so expensive and crazy. I was like, it's not necessary, but let me tell you. So this thing literally can sense when she wakes up, whether it's her movement or her crying, so it'll like start like shaking, and it'll move up the sound machine that's in the bassinet like higher and higher as she gets fussier and it'll start moving her more and more. It is the coolest bassinet ever. The first nap she took in it, she slept two hours. I never walked in there and it was amazing. Since then, we've had a little bit of trouble. Like she's kind of had a harder time falling back to sleep when she wakes up, but I still think it is a great thing to kind of help her fall back to sleep before I have to step in. And I can kind of watch her and I can see that she knows that she's like not totally alone. Like there's something kind of like, paying attention to her. So I really like it. I'm hoping we can use it as a nice tool. She's awake a lot more often now, but she's very happy. Like she is a happy baby. We are rarely dealing with a baby that is like crying or sad. She's just always smiling and she's starting to get very chatty. Like she loves to just like, da, 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 like talk. Like I swear the other day I was like, did you just say, did you just mimic me? <laughs> Um, is like, she does like some babble, but then sometimes she's like, God, do like, I swear she like is trying to talk. It's the cutest thing. Something that she hates though is cars. Oh my gosh. You put this baby in a car and she will scream the entire time. Like you think, oh, she's going to stop. She'll be quiet in a minute. She'll fall asleep. No, we are dealing with a baby that is literally will scream the second her head hits that car seat and she does not let up. 
I'm gonna try to get like some car toys and maybe that'll help since she's starting to be a little bit more like active and pay attention to things, but oh my goodness, she does not like the car. She is not a fan of the car, huh? And I'm already scarred. I mean, Finn hated the car. He hated it so much that when he cried, he would, he actually has like a reflux that he uh, throws up <laughs> whenever he cries, even to this day. So when he was a baby, we would put him in the car and every single time he would throw up and it was exhausting. I had to clean that car seat out so many times. So I'm like, please don't be a crier. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. <laughs> All right. So like I said, we celebrated her first Christmas. And so I'm going to show you guys everything she got. This is what she got from Santa. She got the bumbo seat, which is so cute. I think this actually turns into a little table. Ah, that is so cool. They did not have these when Ollie and Finn were little. All right, next we got these super cute little washcloths. They have all kinds of cute prints on them. And I just, I love washcloths too, like for the bath and stuff for her. And then Auntie got her a few of these really soft, but like, let's push you back a little bit. These little soft toys that kind of go on, stack on top of each other. There's actually another set downstairs that's like the little round tubes that go on top. Yeah, super cute. She's not quite old enough to play with them, but I imagine pretty soon here she'll start wanting to kind of put things together and play with them. I think this also came with it too. They're kind of like stackable blocks that you can put inside of each other. This is the cutest little doll. I think this is actually like her first official doll and I love her little dress with it. Yeah, little doll, you like it? She got a wubbinub from her uncle. This is nice because we've been trying to test out some different binkies. Right now she's only taking this binky, but it is a really hard binky for her to hold on to. It's constantly falling out, so I like to try different ones whenever possible. And so he got her this cute little elephant wubba nub. And we've got the Sophie Teether. You wanna hold on to it? Let's see if she can hold on to it. She's like, what are you doing? Here, put this right in your hand. Just like that. Nope. You wanna show them it? There's her with her Sophie. <laughs> I remember Ollie had the little like squeaky one that was squishy. She got some cute little bath toys that are little animals. Okay, this is like one of my favorite toys she got because it vibrates and plays music, which she's just really into anything that just like makes sounds or does anything, so. And then Mimi got her a couple of cute outfits. She already wore one of them, but it was similar. It's so cute. So this is like the pants and this little like cardigan sweater. She got a pink one too, and she already wore it. It's so cute, it's so soft. So, so soft. All right, we got a cute little I See You book. I love books like these that are easy to read, and she can actually see herself in the mirror. She actually like, like listens to books. Now, I know she's really young. She's probably not really listening, but I'll like sit and read to the boys, and she's like totally quiet and content to just sit and listen instead of like getting all like like this right now. But if I was like sitting and reading, I she like kind of sits and is like, okay, let's, I'll listen to the, her talk. We also got her this really nice visual quiet book. So it makes lots of sounds. And then um, this is, these are great books for babies because um, they're like visually very exciting to them because they're like very prominent colors, black, white, red, yellow, blue. It's just got all kinds of like, fun things in it in here for her to look at. Oh look, there's another mirror. <gasps> Bless you. <coughs> Woo! Moving on to a couple of her really sentimental gifts. So me and Brian bought her a really cute little jewelry box with her name on it. I really wanted to get her something like this because well one you know, as the years go on, she's not gonna really probably care about something like this for Christmas, but I wanted it to be something that's like sentimental. Like for your first Christmas, we got you. Something that she could hold on to forever. Some things that I really wanted it to have is both a ballerina and a music, a music box with it. So I love it. I think it turned out so cute. It 
um, holds all kinds of different jewelry and it actually holds something really special that Finn bought her. You getting all grumpy. Finn got her the cutest little necklace that he saved with his own money from his piggy bank. It's got a little bee on it for Brielle. Doesn't really care about all these toys and things like that, but I hope one day she'll look back and be like, that was what I got for my first Christmas. So very exciting. I thought it turned out really cute. All right, guys. Anyways, this is her three month everything L update. She's doing so good. She's a happy little baby. Right now she says, I gotta go. I gotta go guys. I can't talk about this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you guys in our next video. Can you say bye? Say bye. <laughs> Boop.